Hello and welcome to Adventures in Small Business. This is a collaborative effort by the U.S. Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, Hawaii Small Business Development Center, the Patsy Ming Center for Business and Leadership, and the Veteran Outreach Center for the Pacific. We showcase small local small businesses here. My name is Sandra Cancinos and I'm with SBA Hawaii District Office. Today we have Marina Nishimura who owns Illuminage Group LLC. Welcome Marina to the show. Thank you for having me. So I just was wondering about, you know, your business and say, how did you get started and what inspired you to get into the lighting business? Well, the Illuminati Group, um, my, our, my business um, started in 2012 here in Hawaii. My, it was a family business in Japan mm -hmm. that uh, started and we created a, a Hawaii version of that. Of that. Okay. Yeah. So you started in Japan and about 20 years ago, back in 2000, when LED was uh, still very new. So there, uh, my father was a pioneer of the LED product in Japan. So what, uh, do you have uh, big projects out there in Japan? Uh, right, uh, he does. Um, he there's a couple businesses that he does. The major, uh, most main, the main business they do in Japan is illumination events, okay. where they have like a light park uh, where people enter and uh, enjoy the. Uh, lights at night, like, like kind of Christmas type. Like Christmas time. Um, they have some for the summer and also for the springtime as well. Okay. And then, how did that come about over in Hawaii? Uh, we had an opportunity, uh, uh, a conversation with the government to do something similar to that um, when um, they saw that in Japan. So that's how we came to Hawaii. But our business has changed since the time we've um, started in two thousand twelve. Okay. Yeah. And then I was wondering about the LED movement, you know, being environmentally conscious here in Hawaii is very big. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, do you have, has your business adapted to that? When you do light installment, installments, things like that, do you put that in consideration when you do a job? Yes, well, everything we do is, um, any product that we use are, are all LED, so mm -hmm. we are very energy uh, conscious mm -hmm. um, we are uh, we work with Hawaii energy so we um, we like to maximize and use their rebates to uh, have um, businesses convert to LED uh, we also want to we're also trying to be a part of um, Hiko has a uh, wants to be fossil fuel in about 20 years so we hope we can contribute to that as well okay and then what type of different lighting services does Illuminage group offer uh, there's a couple. There's the commercial side and the decorative side. For the commercial side, uh, we sell uh, products for uh, you know for upgrading for parking or uh, interior for lighting for um, businesses, as well as uh, we do energy uh, consulting services and uh, calculations as well. On the decorative side, we uh, we create custom lighting uh, for such for example for Christmas or any uh, for uh, for business for their customized signs all uh, created by LED. Okay, so and then is positions. there d different types of LED lighting that you recommend or that you, your, specific, your company specifically use for your projects? It, it varies for the commercial side. There's various um, LED products. So um, you know, if there's parking light, then we, have, we recommend parking light lighting. So there's, uh, there's many different products. Um, mm -hmm. For the commercial side, we have um, LED string lights um, to create um, lights, with, uh, which I can sh explain more when the photos okay. come up. Um, uh, we also have LED neon, which is uh, really exciting. We, have, we use various LED products. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, since you've done, your, that's a niche uh, industry, is there any projects that we can actually see while walking down the street that your company has done for the city, for buildings, for anything that... Uh, any resorts, anything like that? For the decorative side, um, we've our projects can be seen year round at the Moana Surfrider Hotel, okay, um, at okay. their Banyan Tree. Can we pull up the the pictures for that? Yeah. So, okay. Um, the Banyan Tree. Uh, this is a year round lighting. Um, this one was uh, lit up in pink for Valentine's Day. Um, we can. It's pre-programmed, so we can change it to different colors. It's really exciting because. 
we're able to preset the lighting uh, and um, it can change by the hour, by the minute, or, or every Valentine's Day, it'll change to pink and it, it can, pro we can make it so it can move with music as well. Okay, with and then uh, the other projects that you've done? Uh, is at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Okay. Um, this is the entry uh, and that's, way. Um, coming up as well. So that was the entryway lighting. So these are more of our permanent um, commercial, uh, I mean, our decorative lighting that can be seen on the island. So this is on the commercial side. Um, as you can see, the left and the right. The right is um, where we upgraded to LED. The left is um, the side where it hasn't been converted yet. So um, you know, our client was very happy because they were able to have it was brighter, and also they were able to save on their energy and and also for uh, savings too. So when you do this type of work mm -hmm. for lighting up, uh, say a parking lot, do you? Is there a huge benefit by having the LED lights installed, as in financially? Yes, some some if um, like some businesses are able to recoup the cost as early as six months, eight months, or it could take about three years depending on the project. So whatever lighting that they have now, mm -hmm. we're able to show them the calculation and see how much they can save. But they do. I mean, it, not only are they becoming more green in energy. Uh, uh, conscious, but they're also saving on energy costs, okay. reducing on energy And keep, keep the bills. pictures rolling as well. So that's at Mercedes Benz, um, the showroom. So there's various types of LED lighting. This is going back to our um, decorative side for the holiday. We've done some um, decorations for, at the Kahala Mall, uh, mm -hmm. Kahala Hotel, I'm sorry. Um, so what we do is we create custom designs for um, each hotel. The next uh, picture is at Central Pacific Bank. Um, this is something that we worked with the bank and uh, we created a, a custom installation and a design based off of their facade, of the building facade. So this can be seen during the holiday season. Okay. And then this is more of the um, decorative side of this is a LED neon sign. And this is all um, that we create custom signs for local businesses. Um, we've made signs for the pub, uh, public pair, um, sweat and soul. Um, we've created oh. custom signs for that, and also people have been using that for weddings. Um, okay, so, yeah. so you also do for weddings? Uh, we just create the signs. Um, okay. We don't do the installation, but if anyone wants a custom sign, um, or for weddings or birthdays, that's something that we provide. Okay, and then today you brought a couple of products that right. you wanted um, to showcase today? This is um, something new, a new product uh, that we have. Um, this is made out of bamboo. Um, how, and when you see it, it it's like this, but, um, you know, it's, it, we, also it turns on. It turns on. Yeah. <laughs> so give, people can post it out in their, outside their right. store window or something like yes. that. Yes. Oh, okay. And then we also have a bigger sign. So this is our um, Aloha sign here. Okay. So these, these are all made from bamboo? Bamboo, yes. Okay. And oh, we can beautiful. light up. So there's... We're able to custom make um, designs. We're making a sign for a, a company here too. So okay. we, anything with LED, that's what we specialize in. Awesome. <laughs> it looks so nice. Okay. And then any, any um, for the holiday season, I know that you, you've done a, a, a for, for Pacific Bank. Do you do for the city anything like that? For um, not for the city, okay. um, but um, for, for businesses. Um, for this winter, so this coming season, uh, for the custom side, we're creating some, uh, not just for Christmas, for New Year's, um, mm -hmm. the Moana Surf Rider, uh, Sheraton Waikiki are having a New Year's event, and uh, some of our uh, um, LED designs will be um, displayed. So who designs, you know, the pineapples, the aloha, who designs with the, the, who comes up with the concept, who says, you know, let's take bamboo, make the sign, light it up the way that it, you know, lights up? We have a uh, designer in our team, and that's also my sister. Oh, okay. So she, she's the graphic designer. She creates all the designs to make it into reality. Yes. And what, did, what inspires you to stay in this line of work or, you know, get into the lighting business besides, you know, coming from your dad, well, from Japan all the way oh, to Hawaii? Yeah, what's nice, uh, especially for the decorative side, is um, you, you work on a project with a customer, mm -hmm. and it's nice when you're able to see it installed or displayed. And then, you, uh, you know, when people are happy to see the displays, that makes us 
makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> and it, I was wondering, um, do you have any plans to expand outside of Hawaii? Uh, we do projects um, in Japan right now. Um, we have created some custom signs uh, worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, we had a couple inquiries for permanent installations for um, the Bahamas and also in the Middle East, but we, have, uh, we haven't got there yet. So hopefully in the future we could do more of that. Okay. And then so if you can, you know, think back, wh what were some of your challenges that you had? Um, in the beginning, saying, you know, finding LED lights, you know, because we are in a small island off the coast of, you know, miles and miles away from the mainland. So what, what challenges do you think, you know, you, you ha well, one, you've had, and then what, can you, what advice would you give to a small business that also wants to go into this industry? Especially since we live in Hawaii, uh, one of the... Uh, biggest challenges I had was shipping okay. and the calculating the shipping was uh, very hard when we first started um, no one really knew us so it was hard to bring the shipping cost down or we were I was still understanding that so now we're doing better but I think shipping was very it's very difficult okay <laughs> and then what what type of advice would you give you know somebody who's wanting to start in the same industry as or oh well Maybe I don't know, same industry or for Hawaii. I think yeah. uh, being in the starting a business here in Hawaii. Um, what I realize is there's so many good people here in Hawaii mm -hmm. that are willing to help you and give you advice to mm -hmm. help with your business. So I think that makes Hawaii very special. And I think you know, uh, you know, for a business, there's so many things that you know at the time I didn't know, yeah. and it would uh, to ask people for help and ask for you know their advice or their feedback really helped me uh, grow our business. So I know that I uh, asked about challenges. Have you had any unique problems with the industry that you're in? Say, well, tariffs. Uh, okay. Tariffs have gone up a lot um, um, and that has affected, I mean, you know, that increases our price. Okay. So that, that does hurt our, our, our business, but that's something that we need to, I, I guess, you know, every industry is having issues right now, so that's yeah. um, something that we need. That's some of our challenges uh, right now that okay. we're trying to <laughs> adapt yeah. to. Okay, yeah. and then uh, going back to your projects that you've done from the from the photos, of course. What would you say would be the one that really just ins you know inspires you over and over again that to see your your work. There? Well, two two different parts. The decorative side is when I'm able to see the permanent installations and mm -hmm. or the Christmas installations, and when I see the public enjoy and take photos and 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 hear from our clients that oh their tenants are very happy to see the lights and that they're very excited. That makes me happy to okay. see the end product be, um, as a success. The second part is the commercial side when we're able to save money for our clients and. Uh, and then because they upgraded to LED and that and that we're able to convert them to more energy uh, co efficient or more mm -hmm. have them become more energy efficient that that's very special any any um, buildings that we that are iconic that we can see your the work in that you've done for the commercial side um, is a little more yeah, it's like, more like <laughs> it's not, I mean, yeah. not, not, not um not as exciting right um, <laughs> yeah. but for the Decorative side was the like the permanent yeah. the installations of the Moana Surfrider, or the Royal. Um, the Christmas time we do lights at James Campbell Building okay. in Kapolei as well. Uh, um, some smaller projects at Duty Free um, okay. too. So it, it's it's er, er, various yeah. locations. Yeah. Okay, we'll be right back. Uh, we'll take a short break. Hey, aloha, everyone, and welcome to the Think Tech Hawaii Studio. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii. We air here every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Hawaii time, trying to bring you issues about security that you may not know, issues that can protect your family, protect yourself, protect our community, protect our, our companies, the folks we work with. Uh, please join us and I uh, hope you can um, maybe get a little different perspective on how to live a little safer. Aloha. Aloha, I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. Tuesdays, every other Tuesday, from 11 to 11.30. This show is meant to dive into stories of local product entrepreneurs and how they're growing their companies from right here in Hawaii. 
I'm so thrilled to have our show kicked off. And so please join us on Tuesdays at 11 o'clock as we talk to local entrepreneurs and hear their stories. Hi, we're back with Marina, who's the owner of Illuminage Group LLC. Thanks, Marina, again for coming in. And I'm just wondering, what, what um, picking up from the conversation, what, not, not challenges, but what has uh, helped you in starting your business? So what uh, organizations have helped you starting your business? So in my uh, business, uh, what we tried to do is we, I wanted to expand to the government. Mm -hmm. And I went online and I saw SBA um, 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 had workshops um, to assist businesses who wanted to be in the government. So that's when I reached out to SBA and I've uh, met with Mary Dell, who's been very helpful and resourceful and help um, guiding me through the uh, uh, government process in introducing us to people. Uh, through that, uh, she, I, I didn't know what was available. Um, she also told me uh, about SBDC, which is Small Business Development Center, mm -hmm. and also uh, Patsy Mink, mm -hmm. and told me those are good uh, resources to reach out to. So um, with um, Patsy Mink, I, I've met with them, and they, you know, sometimes I need a guideline, a guide on how to expand my business or to uh, you know, sometimes, so, you know, sometimes with the business get sidetracked. So it was nice to have yeah. someone to talk to and give advice on what I should be doing next to yeah. grow my business. And with SBDC, they've been very helpful on letting me know how to grow in the government sector. And also, I, I, we were working on an RFP. Um, for Innovate Hawaii, um, and then they were helping. Uh, they were very helpful, helping me, um, you know, edit or you know, change or help me make uh, revisions on my RFP proposal for them. So, uh, the all the, the SBDC, Patsy Mink, and SBA were very resourceful on, you know, guiding me through um, and helping me in the government. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So besides the government side, where do you see your business going in the future? In the future, well, I, we hope that when we first started, well, oh, I should have explained is when we first started, it was very difficult because especially for the decorative side, many people, uh, we had projects in Japan mm -hmm. and I had pictures to show clients, but they never saw that in person. It was hard for me to um, explain to them like, oh, what, uh, my my business or they're like oh I, they were hesitant because it was not done in Hawaii before and it was hard for them to make a decision based off of pictures but at the beginning it was hard for me to find clients who would would believe in us and we were fortunate to have a handful of them at the start that did mm -hmm. that helped us grow our business but um, and you know gain uh, more through word of mouth yeah uh, but from now I, I hope that we can still organically grow um, work with um, more hotels and businesses um, and also uh, well the government is our next part where we want to grow um, yes, for okay. the commercial so where do you see your your business in the local uh, and business community so? well I hope that we're able as a LED uh, a supplier and a, a system design company I hope that we are able to help large or small businesses become more energy efficient, that we're able to convert and make Hawaii more green. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in and joining us in this session. Um, well, thank you. you know, I really appreciate you guys coming out. And um, Is there a website or an address that people can go to to buy your product or see your product or services? Yes, um, our website is Illuminage Hawaii. Um, I L L U mm -hmm. M as a Mary I N as a Nancy A G E Hawaii dot com. Um, they we don't sell products online. Um, it's more custom based. So they could uh, send us an email at contact at illuminage group dot com or call us at um, 808-532-6688. Um, we we'll, we're, we're available anytime. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next. Week. Thank you.